the origin stories of of those of like why do people start like what made you yeah what made you want to do the hundreds what made you why particular clothing why merch so uh he was recently on the shop and this is what he said about that so i'm watching film listening to music and nobody's speaking my language and then it came to a point where I was like, man, I, I just feel left out. I don't have my own community, but if I build a brand, I can create my own world. And so that's what I champion when I talk about entrepreneurialism and I'm inspiring young people to build brands or start off their careers. I'm like, if you don't see a place for yourself in the world, make one. And Absolutely. then you can create a home for others to be welcome, to be included in. And it becomes a really beautiful, remarkable experience for everybody. It makes everything sound so like simple. Right, that, right, yeah. right. Easy. Like, you don't see it, build it. Hmm. Like this is great. Don't stress. So, don't oh, stress. W- w- what's your? <laughs> I love it. What's your take on that? Man, I, I love it. I mean, it, 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 I, I love I love reminders like this because somebody may say, "Well, I, I already knew that." Yeah, but are you doing it? So, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. First of all, you're not gonna speed past <clears throat> that. Like you didn't just say what you just said. It, it's it's so it's so incredible to think about when you think about some of the easiest things to do. They're so easy that they're so easy not to do, and that's why they don't get done. You know, it's it, they're so easy to apply that you just overlook them as no, it can't possibly be that easy. It's like no, but those are the fundamentals. The reason why they have become easy or well known or popular is because they're so fundamental to everything that has been created successfully, that people talk about it and share that information everywhere. And so when you hear something like this, if you're really struggling to find a home or to hear your story being mixed into the culture and feel heard or appreciated or whatever the case may be, maybe that's an indicator that there is a gap in the marketplace that you can fill by simply stepping into that role, right? And, and that's why they're so, it's so important for you to embody and fully embrace who you are. Because I mean, think back to, I mean, your episode last week, my episode the week before, like, I listened to the clip that you posted about your sexuality. And you know mm-hmm. how I am on the podcast. When we're recording, I'm here, but I'm not here because I'm thinking about wh- what's next and this and that. And then I listened to the episode. And I'm like, at first I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe she said that. And then immediately after I'm saying, dang, Imagine how much courage it takes to say that, but also imagine how many people now can see their voices or their stories being represented through you. Right. Right. It's, it's so powerful. You think back to even my episode where I'm normally trying to run and hide and not be seen. I'm talking about my faith every other week. Like it's what we do for breakfast. It's a okay. normal thing because I've realized that everything good that people enjoy about me or that they appreciate in me, it's a direct correlation or a direct reflection of my spirituality. So how dare I try to hide that and not give that voice and then allow someone who is going through that journey now in, in, in you know, or going through that opportunity now, going through that moment now, to see that, oh, okay, there is a kid out there, Mustafa, who's been through a similar ground, come from a similar space. So, yeah, I feel like this is probably one of the easiest but most important ones when you talk about why create a brand. Yes, create it to give yourself a home, but I got to say that you got to make the connection that the reason why, if you truly don't see it, it's because it doesn't exist. And that's a gap. Like that is an, a, a, a business and essential need for why you should create something. Yeah, it's funny that you brought up um, like our episodes because somebody uh, DM me, I'm not going to say the name, but somebody DM me was like, yo, this particular part that you mentioned, right, completely freed me because I felt the same way joining that community. I felt the same way joining the speak. Like I didn't feel like I was included or like I can because of these things and to see your journey makes me uh, feel more comfortable in what I'm doing, right? Mm. And it's it's freeing to hear those things because you know when when we're starting a brand, we're going through some of the struggles from a business wise, from a personal wise, that 
we don't know that later down the road is going to be super freeing and like make the people feel like they're home. Right. And though what Bobby said was very simple, like if you don't see it, create it. Right. Like I didn't see anybody who looked or sounded like me. And so I created that. And it, it really is that simple in right now with social media, with how everything is going with content, with different platforms, you really can start a brand that just totally reflects who you are, your beliefs, your values, your hobbies, your passion, like whatever route that you want to go, right? Maybe even your dislikes. You could do a brand about that, okay? Because there's other people who like what you like, who dislike what you dislike, who value the same things, and just don't necessarily have a voice to, to say that, you know? Hence why, even from a, from a negative way, why there's a huge community of certain hate situations, right? Because there's other people like, I hate this too, so let's all get together and complain about it all together. Sure whatever have at it i honestly can't say that's wrong because the same way we're giving uh you know grace to those people who are creating brands based off their likes who are we to say you can't do it off of anything else right but it's more than just all right i'm starting the brand let me get a let me get the URL. Let me get the trademark. Let me get the social media platform. And let me just start posting content. That's it. Once again, community driven. Who are we including in this? Are you an all inclusive? Are you, there's some people who it's just specifically for, there's nothing wrong with either or. But as we are planning out our brand, we have to sit down and say, why are we starting this? Who are we starting this for? What is the what is the values? What is the beliefs? What um what is the true impact that we're trying to give? And sometimes in the beginning it's a little bit selfish. Mm -hmm. It could be a little bit selfish, but eventually we have to realize that you know what? This is for me and for others. That's it. It's for me and for others. You don't even have to lead with, this is for others. This is for me and for others. Great. But when you are seeing a gap, when you are seeing something that's not there, normally nine out of 10 times, there's a need. And so there's a need from a branding standpoint. There's a need from a product standpoint. There's a need from a service standpoint. So fill that need. Hmm. So good. Hey. Can't even. You're writing, so so I was like, oh, yeah. he's coming back. He's coming yeah, back no, with a vengeance. What's happening? Add. I was no, no. I I had nothing else to add. I was just taking notes on something, but I'm like, yeah, no, that that part is important. There it is, then. There it is, then. <laughs> so, uh, for those who haven't started their brand and been listening to us, uh, when are you gonna start your brand, and what is it gonna be about? Just let us know comment wherever you feel like comfortable commenting.